That's dope. Right around the same time, uh, 2008, you make the double XL freshman cover. And um, you in good company. You you on the same cover as as Boosie, um, Lupe Fiasco, Young Dro was on that cover. Um, you know, one of one of the dopest lyricists that never really got a chance to blow to his potential, my man Joel Ortiz, you know, just just a freaking monster when it comes to them uh words. Did it shock you when you got chosen for that cover? Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta know this is the first one. And I was a freshman for real. I had been listening to Booze, you know, probably, I don't know, probably 10 years or eight years before that. I knew exactly who Joe was. Been listening to Joe for almost a decade. Joe, 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 he's a staple in the city. Ain't nobody messing with Joe. But because it was the first freshman, they had to go find everybody. And these dudes were having singles hits at this time. Certain records and certain stuff was popping. So just to be in, just to be in that company uh, was a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you can see a lot of those names are, are you know, staples. They ain't no, you know, they've been doing it. You can't step on their big steps. Nah, they, those, you was in a company of a lot of good people. And the one thing I give to, to XXL is they choose, like a lot of the, of, of the artists that they choose to be on that cover have gone on to do some amazing things in their career. Like these are not just one hit of quitters. Okay, um, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm saying I, I remember the I remember those folks, man. I appreciate them. It definitely is love. You know something? I gotta ask you. It it, it was it was. And I, if my memory serves me correct, this is something like 2010. You didn't you put out a mixtape, and I'm not saying a song, a mixtape a day for a straight month during the month of February. Yep. How, yeah. how does that even happen? Like the, the, people can't even record that fast. Yeah. Uh, some people can't. Um, people that knew knew that I, I could do it. I mean, did you know you could do it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm doing whole, I'm doing whole songs in 20 minutes. I understand. I already had my settings. I already had like this is before I decided to do it, so I don't got so great at understanding the mathematics and pitches and stuff like that. I will I will find the once I found the tempo and the and and the the note that the the beat was in. I would just link it with with my with my presets. So if I say hey 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 hey. It's got all my echoes, all my reverb, all of my, everything is already there. So all I really have to do is do what I do. And I never wrote. I don't have to take, the, I don't take the time to sit down and write something and see what it looked like and all that. I just go at it. The reason why I can do that is because I know how to edit more than I know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know, <laughs> I knew how to, I knew how to just, it was easy. It's easy. It's mathematics and it's simple. Um, now it's everybody's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, that's the style of recording now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, before it became a style of recording, you know, the booth, going to, going to booth, sit down and write, and then go and spit it. Like, that's dope. But my brain thinks a lot faster than that. I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? You know, nobody, it's unheard of. Nobody runs a, nobody runs a, uh, a three nine until somebody runs a three nine, and then everybody starts running three nines. So that's kind of what it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that that's almost you know incredible. I don't know if anybody's ever done that since. I I never heard anybody being able to do it up until that point. So you might be in a league all your own because to put out, you know, granted February has twenty eight days. But to put out a mixtape a day 
is damn near like you know coming from my standpoint it, it feels impossible and i don't care how quick you can record the record but you saying like yo i i, I could record a record in 20 minutes that's insane that your brain processes that much information that quickly that's a gift by itself yeah 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 that's that you know, you know like i overthink stuff or i'm in my head that's my brain like I could take this conversation, a strip, well, I don't have to strip nothing off of it. I could just break it apart looking at the uh looking at the sound waves and move words around and turn a whole conversation into a song. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing new now because people doing it on YouTube, you hear it everywhere. But I could I would I could do that. Uh, I could do that like 17, 18 years ago. So it could, could, when you, you just think I'm a rapper and people are like, oh, that the world is up, how you gonna do that? Like, no, nah, you really don't know what I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what you know. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.